guys, Ron here. And what if Pokemon lived in the real world? Where would they exist? I mean, there's no room for them. Well, based on actual animals, plants, and our world's geography, I believe I was able to pinpoint the most likely place our favorite Pokemon can be found on planet Earth, as if they evolved along other forms of life that truly do exist. I analyzed the most likely real-world counterpart to all the fully evolved Pokemon and placed them on a map of Earth, and in this video, we're gonna go through generations 1 to 3, and then if you leave a like showing your support for the series, another video will be made to show the complete map of where every Pokemon can be found. Keep in mind that I omitted Pokemon that can be located in more than 3 continents, cause a lot of Pokemon like Pidgeot and Sharpedo can be found all over the world. I mean, look at Onix, it's a rock snake. Rocks and snakes are literally everywhere, there's one behind you. Pokemon who have no counterpart that actually exists in the real world, like Marowak or Slowking, were also not put on the map, and Pokemon who aren't in fixed locations in the Pokemon world, like the Regis and Unknown, couldn't be placed as well. Also no fossil Pokemon because they're extinct. Pretty much any Pokemon family that isn't on this map isn't there for a very specific reason, not because I forgot them. This is just another step in getting you guys immersed in the world of Pokemon by allowing you to see how awesome the real world is, because our world is is what inspired my favorite franchise. So let's start by going in continent order from west to east, with the exception of Executor. Executor can be found in many continents, so it shouldn't be in this video, but since it has a clear in-game origin, I decided to place it in Hawaii. The second exception is that Hawaii is part of Oceania, which is a region that we'll be covering later on in the video. Now let's head on over to North America. Now all my North American peeps, which is like 60% of my audience, will understand which Pokemon they can find in their local 1000 mile area. Ursaring is one of the few Pokemon here that I decided to situate in two areas because it has two main origins, the grizzly bear, also known as the North American brown bear, or the sun bear. While Raticate is based on a rat, if it was a real creature, it would end up being classified as a muskrat, which are native to North America. Raichu, while an ambiguous mouse, most closely resembles a kangaroo rat, which lives in dry western America. It would neighbor Cacturn, which I placed in the Sonoran Desert of South Arizona, and Sunflora in New Mexico, which surprisingly has some strong sunflowers. Crawdont has been placed in Louisiana, where the greatest amount of diverse crawdads are produced by the millions. But just like Crawdont, I've made them an invasive species in Kyushu, Japan. Sable is based on the Hopkinsville Goblin from good old Kentucky. Volbeat and Illumise are lightning bugs with greaser and flapper aesthetics, most of which originated from America, most specifically the Northeast. And right around the border between Ontario and New York, the Native American Thunderbird-inspired Pokemon Zapdos has been spotted by locals, although I believe that it may have originated from South Africa and is the fabled lightning bird. If we cross the border into Mexico, we'll encounter some Zatu. Since it's based on Native American totems and the Kachinas of the Pueblo people, it could have been placed north of the border as well, but since it's physically similar to the Quetzal, I decided to place it south of the border. As we make our way down to Central America, we are greeted by the Vampire Bat, Crobat. Did I say greeted? I meant viciously attacked. Now if we would have concluded that Swampert was a mudskipper, he wouldn't have appeared on the map since those are found everywhere, but I think it's more of an axolotl in terms of physical biology, not concept, so I placed it in the home of the axolotl, also known as the Mexican salamander. Now salamence is a pretty ambiguous dragon, but since it has Anderson salamander attributes, I decided to place it near another salamander buddy. Maybe it's even what the Mayans would have considered a dragon god in the past. Polyrath and its glass frog attributes can be found in Costa Rica. Now it turns out Mew wasn't under that truck all along. It was in Guyana. While the anime isn't in-game canon, the last place Mew was found in the anime, other than in Lucario and the Mystery of Mew, is the real-world country of Guyana. Now since Feraligator is neither explicitly an alligator nor a crocodile, I decided to classify it as a caiman and place it in northern South America. Torkoal is literally a giant tortoise, which can be found in the Galapagos and Seychelles. I also placed Love Disk in the Amazon Basin and Indonesia. Hitmontop's capoeira-inspired moves are pretty Brazilian, and sloths like Slacking are as South American American as can be. I placed it in Peru, although it would be found closer to the northeast. Since dinosaurs are extinct, we're hypothesizing Meganian's location based on its flower. While it originally was a geranium with five leaves, I believe the current Meganium design bears what I believe to be a Hippiastrum, which can be found from North Argentina to Mexico. Skarmory can be found in Chile, alongside the Andean Condor, while Mainectric and its main wolf brethren hunt in southern Brazil, while Lantern watches from the southern Atlantic and even Antarctic Ocean. On the opposite pole, we have a place penguins aren't usually found, but Delibird is an Arctic penguin, 
while Walrein can also be found in the Arctic Circle, roaring at the Aurora Borealis. A group of Delibird have made their way to Rovaniemi, Finland, the home of Santa's workshop. And now that we're officially in Europe, we'd be welcomed with a big kiss from Jinx, who is based on the Yama Uba but is designed after a frostbitten Viking Valkyrie. While plesiosaurs are extinct, we can find one in Scotland. Lapras is our beautiful little Loch Ness monster. Now while European dragons come from all sorts of countries, the first to solidify our modern interpretation of western dragons, which Charizard literally is, would be the dragon found in the old English epic of Beowulf. So that's why it's here. Granbull, the bulldog, and the beagle that is Smeargle are also pretty British. Southern England is also home to Pinsir. Have fun with that knowledge. Now Politoed is in Europe as opposed to Central America because of both the King's Rock and the fact that it's more like a European tree frog now. Gardevoir is relatively French and while Houndoom, the fiery hellhound, may be found everywhere, Dobermans were developed in Germany. And the word hell is derived from the Proto-Germanic language as well. This is a pretty German boy. A bit south is where we can find some ferret, which have admittedly spread throughout all of Europe. And while Machamp's a modern bodybuilder, Ancient Greece is the origin of the whole idea, at least in Western terms. Corsola is a Mediterranean red coral, and if Kyogre was real, it could have been the inspiration for the Hebrew legend of the Leviathan, which is really the inspiration for Kyogre. This biblical beast is also Mediterranean, and the fact that it slumbers near Sutopolis, which is a city based on Santorini, Greece, is easy backup for this location. Now we're gonna go down to Africa before covering the Middle East. Swallows can be found everywhere, but the specific type that swallow is can be found year-round along the Nile. Based on which elephant you'd consider Donphan to be, I placed it in both Sudan and Myanmar. Sandslash, or the giant pangolin, can be found in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Giraffe rigs in Tanzania, close to the Okapi, and since I've concluded that Mightyena can be based on both the spotted and brown hyena in terms of anatomy, I placed it in the only country that both can be found. And depending on which mongoose and viper, so viper and zangoose are based on, these eternal enemies can be found in southern Africa, Pakistan, or India while an animal that resembles Tyranitar could be the armadillo-girdled lizard, which can be found in the western deserts of South Africa. I would have put it in Japan for its Godzilla origin, but real animals trump fake creatures. Colacanths, like Relicanth, can be found right here, or in Indonesia, while the leaf-tailed gecko that is Sceptile can be found mostly in Madagascar, but also in Australia. While Dodrio looks like a long-necked kiwi with three heads, I'm gonna place it where the dodo used to live, in the Isles of Morit- Meridius? I, well, it, I, I don't know. Going up to the Horn of Africa, we can encounter some Hamadryas baboons, or primates. Those are cool. Now let's make like Moses and split the Red Sea to see some Kekleon in Yemen. And Alakazam is based on the Israeli Yuri Geller, and even has a very Middle Eastern aesthetic going on. Goats, which are part of the Alakazam's satanic look, are said to have originated in Iraq, so I placed it in Jordan, between Israel and Iraq. The earliest depiction of boxing is also from Iraq, so that's where Hitmonchan would have naturally evolved. Groudon is based on the Hebrew behemoth. It is said that the beast is located in the invisible desert east of the Garden of Eden, so that's basically Iran, hidden near the Lut Desert, which was recorded as the hottest land temperature 10 years ago, probably because there's a Groudon there. Articuno is what the Persians thought was a Simurg, or Ruk, so it's also Iranian. Camerupt is an Afghani Bactrian camel, and since Medicham's aesthetics are derived from many Middle Eastern and Asian locations, I decided that its home will be in Pakistan. Arbok is an Indian cobra, and Typhlosion is Indian here, but a lot can be found in the Arabian Peninsula, and southern and western Africa. Rapidash is a unicorn, which do not exist, but actual ancient Greek writers thought unicorns were real animals that lived in India and rhinoceroses were even mistaken for unicorns in the past. We'll see if Rhydon is located near Rapidash in part 2, since Rhyperior is from Sinnoh. The Tochukaso mushroom that controls Parasect has spread to Japan, but has come from Nepal. And we also got the Pokemon we described before, but this time in Myanmar. While Persian is named after the Persian cat, it resembles a clean-faced Siamese cat, so Thailand it is, especially since in Japan it is classified as the Siamese cat Pokemon. Siam was actually the previous name of Thailand, which is what the Shamo chicken is actually named after. These real-life Blazikins are from Japan, but originally brought in from Thailand. I've concluded that Hypno is a Malayan tapir, a lot of which can be found in Sumatra as well. The Rafflesia plant, on top of Vileplume, can be found in Java, Indonesia, and Bengkulu, Sumatra as well. I've also decided that the plant on Venusaur is related to the one on Vileplume, especially since the bud looks like a yellow version of Bulbasaur's bulb, so they live in the same habitat. I mean, they technically do in the Pokemon world too. But not that far away is another member of the Oddish family, Blossom, with a smaller species of the same plant. Dugong is just a Pokemon version of Dugong, a lot of which can be found where I put Dugong on the map. Since we are close, we might as well say hi to our kangaroo-inspired Pokemon down under. 
considering its typing and theme, I'm gonna classify Kingdra as a sea dragon and not a seahorse, so here it is. But let's move on to our final region, East Asia. The Pokemon of China, Korea, and Japan are abundant. There are so many Pokemon who would live in Japan that I had to create a second bigger Japan just to fit them all on a map. Altaria, based on Peng, is pretty Chinese, as well as the Baijie that inspired Absol, although a similar myth exists in Japan too. So Absol is pretty close. Agron is actually North Korean, based on both the Pulgasari and Bulgasari, while the Taekwondo inspired Hitmonlee can be found in South Korea. The legendary beasts roam the land and sea below, while Arcanine is said to be legendary in China. Spinda were originally found in the Chinling Mountains, but now can be found under Mount Aso's ash in Kyushu, Japan, which is what Hoenn is based on. Gyarados is also as Chinese as they come. I'm not saying Chinese people are angry, I'm just, uh, m moving on. Dragonite is also based on a Chinese sea dragon, so I put him in the ocean. Now it's finally time for the Japanese Pokemon. I mean, they're all Japanese, but you know what I mean. First, we'll explain the ones that are spread out throughout Japan, and then move on to the ones that can be found in specific locations. Lele is a floating oni head. Chimeko is a Japanese wind chime, Shedinja and Ninjask are ninja cicadas, Linoon is a Japanese badger looking raccoon dog, Goldux probably inspired Kappas in our fictitious world where Pokemon exist, Mawal is a Futakchiona, Seeking is a Koi, and a Japanese saying is inspired by Farfetch'd and its leak. We have the QB, Ninetales, chillin' over here, and Heracross is just an intelligent Japanese rhinoceros beetle. Blastoise's pre evolutions are rooted in Japanese turtle myths like the Minogame. Beedrill is an Asian giant hornet found in rural Japan. Wabafet is based on a Japanese personality and a kind of Japanese doll. Shiftry is a Tengu, and Whiskash is basically a Namazu, and Jirachi inspired some Tanabata traditions in our Pokemon populated world. Now onto the bigger Japan that sprung up out of the ocean. How convenient! Quagsire is actually not an axolotl since it doesn't retain its adolescent appearance upon evolving. It's more of a Japanese giant salamander. Ho-Oh can be summoned in Kyoto where the tower that inspired its legend exists, while the Whirl Islands where Lugia can be found are actually based on Owaji Island and the Naruto Whirlpool south of the island. Stantler is based on the famous sphere of Nara, Celebi can be found somewhere in time, Hariyama are what sumo wrestlers have been trying to mimic, Clay Doll is based on the ancient Dogu found throughout Japan, or should I say, they are the dolls meant to represent this Pokemon, Dunsparce is found in northeastern Japan, and finally, Mewtwo was cloned from Mew on an island off Japan, and Ditto can be found in the abandoned lab, supposedly being failed clones that survived. And I hope you survive throughout all of this information. If you enjoyed and want me to continue and make part 2 so you know where your favorite Pokemon is located, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Check the description for the links to the music I used, my Patreon where you can get cool rewards, the t-shirts I made, and my Twitter which I desperately need you to follow. I'll see you guys very soon.